Welcome to Demolition Ranch. We've had lots of comments about people wanting us to see how many bullets it takes to take down a telephone pole. So, we're here to find out today. Whoa, 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 hold on, Matt. Shouldn't we do one with not live wires on it? Yeah, hey, that'd probably be smart. You're smarter than you look. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I've had comments in the past, people wanting me to chop down trees with bullets, but I like all these trees. But recently I had a comment about someone who said they want to know how many bullets it takes to cut through a telephone pole. So we went and stole a telephone pole. Just kidding, we, we just got, the, we purchased it. Uh, we purchased <laughs> this telephone pole and I'm going to shoot it with this AR-15. Now a normal AR-15 shoots a 5.56, which is a tiny little bullet. We have this one. This is from Patriot's Patriot Ordnance Factory, POF, and it is chambered in 7.62 by 39, which is why it has this curved banana-looking magazine. It shoots the same bullet that an AK-47 shoots, which is a lot bigger. It's a 30 caliber bullet, a lot bigger than a standard AR-15. So it should be theoretically easier to cut through this telephone pole. This is a piston-operated gun, really nice AR-15 and I haven't shot it a whole lot, but I'm enjoying it. I uh, put some Magpul flip-up sights on it. These are super low profile, so if you put a scope on there, they really hide and get out of the way nicely. But really liking this gun so far. I'm going to put it through its paces today on this telephone pole. First, I'm gonna paint a little target on here so I know where to shoot. It's a perfect circle. Yeah, it's a perfect circle. So I'm going to be aiming right there in the middle. Make it like a target. <laughs> nice. So, place your butts below. We have several magazines worth of 7.62 ammo. We'll see if we can shoot this thing enough that it will break. Let's find out. So right now we're shooting steel case. This is super cheap ammo and it's underpowered. So this thing may not run well with it, but gas piston systems usually run pretty well, and this has an adjustable piston, so we'll see. If it doesn't run, I have some better ammo we'll work with, but let's do it. This went straight through it. The bullet came in here, and I saw it hit dirt over there. It went straight through this telephone pole, which I was not expecting at all. And this is an old telephone pole, but it is still heavy as heck, super strong, and that bullet just went through it like it was nothing. Whole mag with that cheap ammo functioned pretty flawlessly. Here's the front side. Ripping through there pretty well. And as always, exit wounds are always much bigger than entrance wounds. And that has a pretty good hole in the back there. So right after I finished that mag, I got a call and I had to go up to the clinic. Little kitten was hurt. You'll probably see it on Vet Ranch fairly soon. I'll probably get it uploaded. Um, but anyway, it took me several hours. So different day, same task. And uh, that mag did not weaken this thing a whole lot. I'm gonna go try to stand on this and not fall off, just to show you how strong this telephone pole still is. So it's still solid. Let's see if I can change that. And now we have some old surplus ammo. This stuff's actually kinda of cool. I ordered it online and it came in this huge crate and these rounds, the date on the back of them is 1979. And I was just thinking, when that person was packaging this ammo, were they thinking that in uh, a good 35 years, we were going to be putting it on a YouTube channel? Probably not. Let's do it. We are tearing up the front of it pretty good. 
<laughs> uh, I would say 50% of it is gone. to cut down telephone poles with bullets. In case anyone was thinking about doing that, you're gonna probably get caught by the cops because you're gonna spend a lot of time out there with your AR-15 firing bullets at the telephone pole. There's better ways. Thanks for watching Nimbus Ranch. Really liking my new POF 7.62x39 AR-15. We'll see you next time. Contact! <laughs> what, what about the quad? Don't move, don't move. Bobby?